ta the topic at hand and I'm going to be doing this a little backwards because um, I do want to do a uh, part two to um, the single and confident ta but um, I decided to make this response sisters we need to know ta because um, it's a constant conversation about our black men and who they date and, and why they don't date black women and um I have a couple of questions, just thought-provoking questions like, um, why are you completely blaming the women you choose? Obviously, if you're choosing the same kind of woman, then it's something about you. If you're attracting the same kind of woman or the same kind of negative energy. But you didn't necessarily say that. So let's, let's go on to the next thing I wanted to ask, um. What was it that you said? Uh, shoot, I'm I'm losing it here. You said something uh, uh, along the lines of. Oh yeah, that was my question. I'm sorry, I had to focus. Anyway, my question to you was, how is it that um, you know? that other races won't do the same thing to you if you never dated anything but black women. I mean, no one thinks about that, but if you only date black women, then only black women can do you wrong. You've never dated outside of your race, so how do you know that they won't do you wrong either? I don't know everybody that don't be in the dating game and shit don't work out, you know, so that's my question to you as well. But as a black woman, we're dealing with the same thing on another on on the other side, okay? All the bitches got men, <laughs> and I'm not saying all women with with men are bitches, but I'm saying like a lot of girls that I know that are off the hook, like y'all talking about mean, disgusting, don't treat they man good because they out there. I mean that's the truth. All these women, they 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 got men. I'm over here single. And YouTube, let me take a moment to uh, <laughs> feel like I'm doing a date in person. Now, let me take a moment to let you know that um, besides long walk, long walks on the beach, I um, I uh, I well, I cook. You know what I'm saying? I take care of mine. I mean, if you my man, I take care of you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. There's sisters out here that are single, and there's good black men out there that are single. And oh yeah, that's another thing. Is it because he's a thug that he's not a good man? Because he might be a thug, but he might be a good man to her. I I've seen it happen. You know, I have some wonderful relationship with thugs. As a matter of fact, thugs. No, let me stop. So anyway, no. But um, that's my response. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you need to change something also about yourself. Don't put all the blame on the black women. If you are attracting women that that treat you wrong, then you're attracting that kind of woman. I mean, I know that we don't, I mean, we're not psychic. We're not going to know exactly how someone is, but you know exactly why you attract the people you attract. And, and you decide. I mean, you have the power to decide on who you keep in your circles and, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what it is, you know? I've seen good black men that go to girls and, you know, I, I'm a sweetheart, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. So anyway, uh, we say we two in the same the same horn, and then what are we dealing with? Look at what we dealing with. We stressed out. We dealing with the ratio. What is like for every one man, there's seven women. We look at what we dealing with. So most of us are gonna be single anyway. I mean, it's just the truth of the matter. To me, you guys have it a whole lot more easier than women because you just you have like the luck of the draw. You got seven women in every turn. Seven is the divine number, right? I don't know if y'all ready for that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's um the new tie. I'm going to do one more, part two, and then I got to go to this quiet concert. Woo, higher calling. We're going to do it.